that's all. So it's just to induce urgency. But Tabor can't follow up on it. And he couldn't close it. So what happens is, is more than uh, at least 50% of his sales are go-back sales. And I ascertained that through in conversations for years and years with Tabor. Every time he'd tell me he had an appointment or got a job, I'd say, first of all, is it mine? You know, and it's no. And uh, well, where'd you get the lead? Well, it's a go-back. Well, where'd you get the lead? Oh, from a guy that I did a job and he knew someone at work. Okay. So by his own testimony, over 50 or 50% 50 or more of his jobs are go-back. And it started sinking in over the last year. Again, you, 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 you wonder how I can be so stupid. The reason is I trusted him, okay? When you trust someone, you dim your awareness. You, you, you lose your... Okay. Yeah. And it dawned on me that Tabor in 10 years had never paid me for one delayed job. Not one. Does that sound crazy or not? Mm -hmm. And see, but that's the way they always catch themselves, don't they? They get, they, 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 instead of taking part of them, they take all of it. I asked Taylor one day, I told Taylor one time, I said, hey, John, did it ever occur to you that you were taking them all? And I answered the question myself. I said, of course not. It was too, too easy and too much fun. <laughs> I told him. So, yeah, it, we, we, we had this realization. But I really didn't want to be accusatory to, to him, so I tried to kind of, and along the same as the threats, uh, rather than a naked threat or a naked accusation, I tried to, uh, the same way as I, I, I made him aware of my cognizance of his homosexuality. I kind of let it sink in that that I was shift to what was going, uh, and just uh, rather than saying you're a faggot or or you stole every job from me, because you do that. And so what's the first thing that a psychopathic criminal is going to do? He's going to deny it to the end, just like a cheating husband. You know, you say, honey, you've been, you've been cheating on me. He's going to deny it to the end. Well, I hired a private detective, and they followed you and her to a motel. He's still going to deny it. He's going to deny it till always, never, ever, you know, admit it, right? And so that's why I wasn't accusatory to her, because once you do that, then he's going to feel compelled then, I, then you have a debate and an argument. I tried to couch it in terms that, hey, it's, the realization is there, it's a done deal, I know it, you know it, and I'm not even going to broach it, you know, in public. <laughs> and that's the way it went on for a year, and he started squeezing me. Hey, who's going to take me to the bathroom, the detectives, or... Uh, yeah, we'll get you somebody. Okay, um, fine. Hey, good talking to you guys. Feel free to come back and see me. I may be getting out of it. When am I leaving here? Uh, don't really know. Department of Corrections probably come and get you sometime this week, I would think. Okay. I well, would think. Hey, Gary. Good. Gary, I appreciate it. Okay, good. Gary. Good. I'm not all bad, pal. I'm just a, let you me, know. Let me hook you up okay. here so these guys don't freak out. Or oh, no, I understand. I understand. Hey, you got to get used to it, pal. Yeah. Listen, I couldn't, okay. there's no way I can make it on the outside. I've told you before, I, I'd have to turn right around and walk back in here. I'd have no place to go, nothing to do. I'm feeling real good now, multiple sclerosis, because I'm laying in bed, just laying and reading. Where you're getting your and keeping it warm. Yes, I'm laying flat on my back. I will walk about a mile, mile and a half in my little cell quite often. But other than that, and the, and attorney's business, so other than that, I'm laying prone. I'm laying prone all day and all night, and I, and, and, and it's got me feeling great. That's good. All put, my, my symptoms are virtually put, all gone. You put on a little weight. And I've gained six pounds. Yeah. Or at least six pounds. The food is good. It's enough of it. I'm always a little hungry, but that's the way you need to be when you're 61. Right. If you're not always, I got it. If you're not always hungry, uh, you're going to spread out. You walk around.